Hello everybody and welcome back. We're still looking at our grade 7 Gauss paper from the year 2009. We're up to question 19. A jar contains quarters, nickels, and pennies. And if you don't know these amounts uh, for Canadian currency, here we've got them right here. 0.25 of a dollar, 0 0.05 of a dollar, and 0 0.01 of a dollar. The value of the quarters is $10. So I could probably figure out how many quarters I had. The values of the nickels, the value of the nickels is also ten dollars, and the value of the penny is ten dollars. If Judith randomly chooses one coin from the jar, what is the probability that it's a quarter? Okay. So if I know the totals of, of the, the coins, you know, the quarters are worth ten dollars, I can quickly figure out how many quarters there are, how many nickels, how many pennies. Now if Judith is randomly selecting, we need to use probability. And the basic idea for probability is, uh, especially at, at this level, it can get a lot harder when you hit to un head to university, but the basic idea for probability on most of these uh, contests is the probability that you want is the number of outcomes you want divided by the total number of possible outcomes. Okay. So what does that mean for this question? We want to pick a quarter, but we have lots of coins. So the number of quarters is going to go on top, but we could pick any coin. So the number of, of coins is what's going to go on the bottom here. It remains just to figure out what these numbers are. Once we have them, there we go, and then we might have to simplify the fraction. So how many quarters are there? Well, $10 divided by $0.25. This should be 40 quarters. I'm just going to double check with my calculator. And anytime you're uneasy about a calculation, go ahead and do that as well. But yes, 40. Okay. So that's how many quarters. So that, that number will go on top. Now, how many nickels are there? Well, there's 5 cents in a nickel or, or $0.05 makes a nickel. So 10 divided by 0 0.05. You don't really need the dollar signs. They sort of cancel out as though they were units. But we get 200 nickels. And how many pennies? Well, again, $10, but now pennies are worth even less here. Uh, so we should get, I think, 1,000. And if you want to, double check on the calculator, but you will be fine. It's 1,000 pennies. Okay, great. So the total number of coins is going to just be 40 plus 20 plus 1,000. And our probability becomes 40, the number of quarters, the number of outcomes that we do want over the total number of coins, 40 plus 200 plus 1,000. So we can simplify this a little bit. Uh, without the calculator, I can certainly get rid of those zeros there. 4 out of 124. Well, 4 goes into 12 three times. And 4 goes into 4 once. So I'm going to say the answer is 1 out of 31. That's the probability here. Okay. So the probability that it's a quarter, 1 out of 31. And that should be B. All right. So let's uh, flip the page to get ready for our last question for part B, and that'll be question number 20. I'll see you for that in the next video.